Welcome back. It is Tuesday, so that means we are joined with Daphne Olivier, the unconventional dietitian. She joins us virtually. Daphne, thank you so much for being here with us today. Of course. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So this month is actually Men's Health Month, and there's a few things we want to go over today. What advice do you have for our friends out there? All right, so there's lots of things that we could talk about for men, but two things that are kind of linked together by certain foods. One is heart health, and the other is prostate health. And okay. so there's a, an antioxidant called lycopene, which is found in foods that are red. So um, lycopene is, a, like I said, it's an antioxidant. So it can both help to decrease your LDL or what I call your lazy, lousy cholesterol. And for, that's for your heart and lower your blood pressure. It also can help to inhibit or slow the growth of prostate cancer cells. Okay. So lycopene is really important. We don't normally talk about food and its antioxidant properties, but the specific foods that you can incorporate that have lycopene in them are tomatoes and specifically like cooked tomato products, like a tomato sauce or an enchilada sauce. Uh, so tomatoes are a really great source of lycopene. Yeah. Red bell peppers. So again, we're looking at that color red, red bell peppers, and they can be cooked or raw, it doesn't matter. So if you have bell pepper plants that are growing, we need to grow the red ones for, for our heart health. Uh, also things like pink grapefruit, if you don't have any type of medication interaction, grapefruit is a great way to get some lycopene. And some other fruits that would be um, good sources of lycopene are papaya and guava. So those are good, like maybe mixed up in a smoothie or yeah. something like that. So. This is when we talk about food as medicine, this is kind of what we're talking about is having foods that are real foods that have very specific properties to help you with, in this case, your heart and prostate health. Yeah, and I think it's good. I know we've talked about in the past too, trying to incorporate more fruits and veggies into your diet. And this is a mm -hmm. great way to do so while, while being proactive at the same time. Absolutely. And Daphne, we have, we're almost out of time. Is there any other advice out there for Men's Health Month? Um, well, also another thing that we want to pay attention to is making sure that you're preserving muscle mass. Um, and so that might be a whole other topic, but yeah. keeping your body moving and active is a really important part of all health. But this, this month we're talking specifically about men. So keep on moving. I love this. And if people at home have any questions for you, how can they contact you? You can reach me through my website, theunconventionaldietitian.com or through Facebook or Instagram, both at The Unconventional Dietitian. As always, Daphne, thank you so much for joining us virtually today. Of course, thank you. If you at home want to learn more, head to KADN.com. We'll be right back after this.